Hello everybody and welcome to yet more perpetual testing! Today we appear to be skipping the entrance room once again and going straight into a, a very... Okay, that almost hit me. That would have been a lawsuit. Okay, Aperture, I'm warning you now I'm not taking this anymore. But instead of the lengthy court battle, instead we'll go ahead and play EW83, single portal test. This was made and recommended by Dark White, so a very big thank you to Dark White for this one. Uh, if for some strange reason you haven't already realised, this is a mono portal puzzle, meaning at some point I'll probably get confused as to why I can't place a portal where I think I want a portal and embarrass myself. But uh, one embarrassment per video is tradition at this point. So what have we actually got going on? We've got our pre-placed mono portal panel there. We've got a cube delivery tube, a conveyance beam emitter connected to cube requiring button up in the upward direction that way. Bunch of deadly deadly goo and an arrow indicating we probably want to make our way around there. Okay, fine. Uh, there is rampage up here. This rampage up here is very clearly designed for one to launch through the portal. Probably to get over there since there's no convenient way to get to that cube delivery tube and it's a joining button. So is that just a fling? I don't think this would be as simple as just a fling, right? You get me, you get me very, very close. You get me so close, in fact, that I think that may have been my fault. And I'm going to try it again because, uh, well, again, that's tradition at this point. Chucky Cross, uh, no, it's not quite high enough, is it? Um, it's definitely supposed to use you. So can I do out of you into you to you? If we do a thrustful kind of thing, well, if we could do a thrustful, it would actually make a lot more sense to go round about there, right? Can I have you just a little bit better lined up? And now's the point where we see if I can remember how to pull off a thrustful enough or if everyone's going to stop watching because we've roughly reached the point where everyone does. So into you and then where is it? It's over here. Oh, oh a clean thrustful on the first go for once. That's that's encouraging. Do you? And mess up which portal is which that I'm going back into. Okay. Two to three to four embarrassments per video is tradition at this point. Uh, let's have you there again. Yeah, the thrustful, um, I like it. I never seem to be able to pull it off smoothly. It always takes multiple attempts. So into there, across. That's looking good. And then it's across again. And you as I frantically tap upon the keys to try and not do that. Damn it. Okay. Okay. I can do it. I've done these before. I'm, like I've said, not good at them. Just need to get a couple, right? It just needs to be like one high enough to pull it off. So it's there. Okay, it should be in the same place now. Thank you. Like that. And then on this launch, there. Yeah, but higher. So that, but better. Hey, we haven't used that slogan for a while. Worrying to think that that might actually be making a comeback. Let's put you on there again. And into you. And then across. And completely screw it. Okay, I suck at Frostfalls. I suck at this whole game, to be completely honest. I don't know why I still play it. Into you. And then into you. And then line up. It should be in the same place. Across. Into there. And then off of this one. There. That's the one. Okay, cool. That one gets me over here, finally. We can press upon this button, be delivered a cube, eventually smacking us in the face here. Right, so I'm thinking now, unfortunately, we have to do thrustfuls again to actually be able to get the cube up there, don't we? Thrustfuls plus cube in hand. Fine, that, that doesn't make it any more difficult for me. Let's jump across to you. I'm thinking the exact same thing, but cube left in a conveniently mid-air snatchable flyby kind of position so yeah about there let's have that one no better than that you go out there for the moment there i liked it where you were before you go in your snatchable position about here you you can you just like just get out the way thank you right let's try this again then and remember to grab the cube on the way past in fact Let's start making use of quicksave, because I've got a feeling this is going to be a map with quite fiddly maneuvers like this. So there, and then still looking at the right target, because I know enough people have complained that I don't do that. And then over again. And then I'm going to attempt to grab you now. 
and then work out where the hell I am and it should be over here somewhere. Well, the cube made it, I didn't. So the hard part's done, we just have to do all that again. In T. No, 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 no. Don't overthink it, don't overthink it. And again, again, I have to do that once per video as well, it seems. Yes. I'm not good at this game, I don't, don't know why you watch it, to be completely honest. It'll be in the same place. See, I'm learning slowly. It only takes me a few hundred goes at something to learn where the right thing to be looking at whilst trying to do this is. One more, I think. And then over, over, over. Ah, oh, you bitch of a portal placement. Very close, though. Right, about here. So there. So even when I learn the tricks, clearly I don't get any bloody better at this, do I? Over. And then... Yes, okay, that time it totally counts. You sit upon the button there, permanently activating a push variety of conveyance beam worthy of a quick save, because uh, if we're doing more thrust falls, things are about to get fiddly. Also, dark white maps tend to have behind the scenes bits to check out. Is this uh, portalable panels back there? That does look like panels back there, doesn't it? Are they not ones for me to interact with? Is that merely... No. I don't know why I was thinking that. That's clearly some pipe work. Okay, what about the ceiling? No. Okay, never mind. Uh, that gives us a conveyance beam, which is for getting over in that sort of direction. It goes straight into the predefined pre-placed portal placement panel. So in that case, let's use you to go across. Uh, that will take us into a bit of wall there, but as the arrow indicates, we could probably shimmy across. Actually, we don't have to shimmy, we could just do that one instead, which is a much easier way to get here. Right, okay, here we've got a whole load more of the deadly deadly goo. We got, oh, thank you. That that does help, actually. That makes it a lot easier to see all the deadly deadly goo that I will undoubtedly going in, because um, I think I recognize this. This is one of uh, Dark White's infamous shimmy and grind along the wall type segments, which I believe Dark White is actually quite fond of. I seem to remember they're in most of their maps that I've played, and I always suck at them as well, especially with that gigantic expanse of the goo. Uh, let's quick save here as well then to shave off having to do all of that again, and start shimmy and grinding, I guess. Um, actually, I probably should have looked at what the path was. Up like that, then those are big holes. There's something in there? Okay, we'll check out that when we get closer, but for the moment, let's do there, grind our way up. To that one, grind our way up again. It looks like we're going to have to shift to this side. But in there is starting to look very, very intriguing. Yes, okay, can I get there closer if we go this way, this way, this way, this way, and then probably up a bit more. Up's usually useful when you're above Deadly Deadly Goo. I like to be as up from it as possible. And that is very much definitely a door. Is that a door I can do anything with? There's a bunch of catwalk and lights in there. That makes it very, very intriguing. In fact, these panels look like they'll get me in there. Uh, it does mean we need to swap over to you. Because that's the only panel to use and isn't at all sketchy. Okay, does this get me somewhere I can actually look in here? Go up a bit, up a bit more. There's plenty of up here. And this is a very big gap in the wall here that looks sort of uh, shell sized to me. That's definitely a catwalk. Okay, cool. I think we found the the off-piste bit. Can I get in here somehow? Uh, down a little bit. Okay, that pushes me in. Into an awkward corner I've made myself with wall tiles, apparently. Can I get rid of those? No, that, that doesn't help. You go away. Uh, you as well. Does this get me anywhere near that very enticing catwalk? No, it gets me into a bit of wall. Can I get around you somewhere if we go over a bit? That gets me here. Can we just hop over? Come on, let me pass. Bloody lighting fixtures. Okay, cool. Um, yes, we found the off-piece portion of a dark white map. You actually appear to have a handle. And I'm hoping dark white has learned from the last time I played one of his maps. First though, I'm going to try you. No, of course not. Meaning you are probably the way. Uh, you're going to do that. Uh, can we move that out of... Oh, very nice. Okay, does that get rid of lots of these panels? It does. Nice little attention to detail there. Ah. I probably needed those for more shimmy and grind, didn't I? Oh well, that's future Nerima's problem. 
present, Nerima wants to check if you actually work. A door of truths! Cool! Dark White has in fact learnt. Right, uh, this gets us into here, meaning this is clearly the way. How and why are there tread marks on the floor in here? Going into this door? This is where Wheatley keeps his moped, apparently. Uh, that, that is absolutely disgusting, so we're going to go ahead and hop over you to another door of truth. Another door of truth, although I know exactly what that is. I've fallen for you many, many times. You're one of those ultra flimsy bits of aperture plywood, aren't you? So where does that go and why would I want to cross it unknowingly? Isn't that where we started? That deadly deadly goo down there? That is deadly deadly goo. That's the start again, right? So why would anybody want to come in here? This is just a really awkward place to have to go and get your photocopying done. Okay, fine, I'll fall for it. Do you... I was about to try and catch myself with a conveyance beam. Conveniently, there's an invisible panel here I have perched upon. Ah, we gotta go back to the star, don't we? Yeah, um, are you gonna let me out of here the easy way? No, of course not. Okay, so this behind the scenes excursion is actually just a diversion back to the start, just for the sake of inconvenience. Let's put you on there then, since we still have that. Ride you back around into here. And I guess we attempt all of this again. Uh, let's hit quick save here. And begin the shimmying process now with far, far less wall panels to shimmy upon. Yeah, I might have made this worse. Okay, fine. Let's do you. And then that one. And grind upwards. And then that one. And grind upwards. And then start grinding to one's left. About there. Up as much as possible. There up as much as possible. Every single time I have to replace that, my asshole clenches. And over a bit more. Yep, even that time. Then I don't want to get pushed in there though. We clearly need to follow this track of uh, panels. Okay, fine. Um, does that go high enough to push me along that bit, maybe? If we go there, 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 there. Is that high enough to not go in there? Just about. And then over to that one. And now that is a very big inconvenient gap. I go down. Down isn't good. This is just going to push me back in there. I may have gotten rid of far too many tiles than I should have. Um, can I even do this? No, it just pushes me awkwardly back into here. Although, I didn't notice before, that is actually floor, right? Yes, we can stand quite happily here. Okay, I love the detail that all these panels get pushed away. But I think I've made it way more difficult for myself now. There's bloody great big bits of hole in the wall that I want to uh, grind along. Although, can I get out here? I mean, that's clearly like the final destination. Not in the kill yourself way. The final panels we're supposed to use to get over there. Do you move out of the way by any chance? No. Uh, you look jump offable. Can we abuse quick save here? and sort of skip the entire grinding wall. Can you go out of my way to start with? And I will attempt, attempt to catch myself before the goo. No! Okay, like that, but better, which unfortunately appears to be becoming a thing on this video series again, meaning I do have to see about getting that bloody tattoo. So you go out the way up there, thank you, finally. And we attempt this again. I think I've made this far harder for myself than just shimmying across properly with panels intact. I don't think this is what we're supposed to be doing. And out. Thank you. No, nope, that's very much back in. This is opposite to what I want. Fine. Again. You go up there, out the way. Yeah, I've made this so much worse, haven't I? This may be a no-clip kind of situation coming up in a minute. Uh, attempt to jump through. Again. Thank you. Okay, cool. Right, here. Can I... Can I pull this off if we go a few inches over? Thank you. And I need enough height to actually... Yes! Okay, cool. Definitely, definitely hitting quick save there. Yeah. Uh, I made that a lot harder for myself. I think we're supposed to quickly shimmy about the place before the panels all disappear. Meaning, if you don't persistently try and unscrew up your screw-up like I just did, that's actually kind of difficult to get out of. So glad we're done with it. 
Right, through here, we got a bunch of the bouncy blue gel. Uh, an invisible fizzler, meaning portals have auto replaced to that particular pre placed panel there. And that is it, right? So you want me to go up. Up via in and out pre placed portal placements. With bouncing. Okay, fine. Please be prepared for a lot of frantic keyboard clicking noises as I attempt to work this out. So through you, out of you, bigger bounce, then into you again to come out of you to land up there. Yeah, that's not going to be tricky. Hopefully slightly easier than that. So into you and then into this one. And I got to try and reposition this actually there. And make it into this one before we lose all the height and momentum. Into you, into you. Okay, fine. And then that, 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 that. Over, 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 over. Just, just on the edge. That, that definitely gets a quick save as well. Right, up here. Up here is absolutely nothing else other than a perverted camera. And uh, you should look this way, idiot. That's what these arrows usually mean. And I'm very thankful for them. Uh, that does actually point out a panel in there, doesn't it? If I can hit it and not the railing. You want me to go in there, via the awkwardly placed panel there. Okay, fine. I can probably make that gap. I so can't make that gap. Let's abuse quick save again. We might have to catch it on a bounce. Please be fair enough. Oh, yes, on the first go. Okay, I, I'm happy to say that I am making up for all of that shimmying nonsense. Um, I'm hoping this is a makeable gap because... That's deadly goo down there. No, wait. We shouldn't be able to see there, should we? I didn't look up. Was there a gap? Let's assume there was a gap. Uh, this is a gap I can make, it is. This takes us through a fizzler. Got some more mesh work here. Is there another take you back to the start tunnel somewhere? Let's actually hope not, because I would have to do it. Because this is also tradition at this point. No, thankfully, thankfully, I think we're done with those. This takes us into here, where I heard another portal be placed. That one has been pre-placed there this time. And this looks much more like an actual chamber. Right, we've got a cube delivery tube above a pit. A pit with a portalable panel. That is in fact portalable. A button here for delivery of the cube. Yes, that's going to go in there. Shoot out of there. Probably should have grabbed that. We've got number 83, meaning I need to look in here. Or is that just to remind us of the map's name? Yeah, just remind us of the map's name. I do like that uh, Dark White actually puts the number kind of progressively through the maps as well. Kind of links the whole thing together. Um, up there is more stuff to go up there. How do we go up there then? Uh, there's a button there, right? So grab this cube and go place you upon it. This is the way. You go on there, that relocates our predefined pre-placed portal placement to over there, where we got 83 again. And we can go via you and see what's actually over here. You. You. You are doing... Ah, you're turning off deadly deadly lasers, which I didn't really pay any attention to there. I'm guessing the exit, or at least the way we want to go, is that way. Okay, and you. You. You do a bunch of steps over to that side on a pretty short timer. Well, we want to get rid of the lasers, which means we want the cube, right? So to get the cube over here, we basically just need to go get it. But the portals are going to swap around, aren't they? Yes, making that awkward. And there's also a bunch of glass, just to make it even more awkward. In that case, then, um, leave the portal, because it's going to swap, right? Yeah, so you go over to here. Uh, put you on that side, since you're close to the button. Remember that that just brings us straight back out around here. Yep, there's the uh, forgetting why I can't place a portal where I wanted it thing again. And just go get the cube now, right? If we yeah, leave the blue exactly where it is, use these short timer stairs to come up here to you and get through... No. So what's the combo for this? This is probably simpler than I'm thinking, isn't it? You go back on there. Let's just go over to that side. Pre-place upon you. We just want to leave the portal here, don't we? Because it's going to swap around. Well, doesn't that... Didn't that turn my portal off? I want you to go there. You get pressed. You get 
taken off of here. You, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, that time made sense even though I didn't put any more thought into it than last time. I love this game. Uh, that gets rid of the deadly deadly lasers for us down here. Our exit is over in this direction with a piece of glass, probably just to make something annoying. Uh, in here, deadly deadly goo, yes, deadly deadly goo. Okay, a pit prevents us from easy access to the exit. We've got another button. This button is on a timer. Opens the pre-placed portal placement up there. Wait, is that going to swap back to the one in here? At some point. It's a much longer timer. It does. Okay. So we need a cube, right? There's no cubes in here. So cube from there. Which means that's why this timer is longer. Um, so it'll swap to up there. There's a button up there. So in that case, we just get the cube to drop straight through into the panel down here, which this timer should be long enough for us to do, with you and you. Uh, that should launch a cube over onto the button and turn the deadly, deadly lasers back on. And that glass means I can quite happily just get into there. So yes, at least I was right about the glass being a pain in the ass. Um, Yeah, okay, so that means we've got to do everything in this room again, doesn't it? So, pre-placed portal is up there, blue is there. You chuck through here. Back down into the pit, where I will join you. There's another leak in here. Is this the neurotoxin? No, that is in fact raw sewage. <laughs> Great, again, bloody just had a fucking shower. Okay, uh, you. Up onto this button again. Pre-place portal placement switches to over there, we swap over to this side, we leave you here and hope that this works without much thought again. You take you off of here, switches back to here, we get into this side. And I guess exactly what we just did, but better, and maybe I jump through as well, right? Would at least get me to the other side of these deadly lasers. So let's go press this button again come back this way as fast as Shell's little legs will carry her. Blue upon you, press the button, then I go through here. Is this enough fling? No, it's not. Ah, well, you had a safe point here. Thank you. Okay, cool. Um, that, but all that, but better. So you, maybe I go after the cube would make more sense instead of clonking it in midair. There, there, cube, go cube, go cube. Then I go too. Yes, okay. Well, thankfully, these came up just in time. Um, yeah. I made a complete mess of this once again, didn't I? Yes, okay, that is actually the exit, though. That was DW83, single portal test made and recommended by Dark White. So a very, very big thank you to Dark White for that one. Uh, if you would like to see me struggle in an embarrassing manner, then please go ahead and recommend me a map via the usual means. And um, I think I spent more time fighting the architecture and ceiling and wall panels than actually solving any kind of puzzle in there, but fun. And I do know how much people will watch these videos just to see me struggle. Come on, admit it. That's why you watch these. Nobody watches these for clever solutions. If you want a clever solution, go watch uh, Hugo B. Designer, Sheepdog, um, Bullfrog, Crazy Attack, Test Chamber Junkie, you know, all the actual clever people. Rector, he still does them as well, I think. And I think Knock occasionally still does some of these. And of course, many, many more people than I. I am the designated Aperture Idiot. And you know what? I'm completely fine with that. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.